Alright, welcome back to another Packet Tracer video. My name's Aaron Strasser, and this is 5.3.2.5, and we're going to be exploring the Cisco iOS CLI. Uh, the Cisco iOS includes many features that help in recalling commands, getting information about command use and function, and we will be exploring some of these features today. Uh, so, what we're going to do first is connect to the 1841 router as if we were using this uh, PC right here to connect. Go to the desktop and go to terminal. So here we are now connected to the router. We just need to press enter to get started. So once that prompt comes up, it lets us know we're in user exact mode. So if you type in a question mark, you can get a bunch of um, commands that you can use. Um, always there, right there if you need to access them. Um, if you want to um, find a command that starts with a specific letter you can do that just type the letter and the question mark uh, same thing uh, with two letters en will show up enable for you so if we go and use enable it will uh, change from that arrow to that pound sign and that lets you know you're in privileged exact mode so let's look at a few of the command shortcuts here. If you type letters that are unique to a command then press the tab key the CLI will automatically spell out the complete command. So if we just type out a C hit the tab key you know it's not doing anything because it doesn't associate uh, it's not unique to just one command. There's many that would start with C so if we add an O and F to that C that and then hit the tab it's gonna go to configure because that C O and F only those four letters at the start of a command only have one command which is the configure command now if we uh, type in that question mark after configure Whoops. So here we go. If you have a configure with this, that space and the question mark, it will show you. Uh, what options you have for that configure command. Um, this CR at the end means that there's no other parameters that can be added to the configure command in the mode. So uh, we all we have is the terminal command that can be added to that. So let's look at some uh, let's look at some other op uh, features. Uh, let's look at error detection. So let's just type uh, con and it says ambiguous command. Um, it's an incomplete command. Now if we type in configure terminal, misspelling the word terminal, it points right to where the error is, where it doesn't recognize the command that you've put in. And with CLI you can also recall previously typed commands. Uh, they're re they're uh, stored in a history buffer. So to recall the last command entered, just press Control P. There's our configured terminal. And you can scroll back through the commands in the history buffer by repeatedly pressing control P 
So it shows everything that we put in back to our enable. Control N will go back through them. And that works the same thing with the up and down arrows. Which is pretty nice. Just cycle through everything that you've typed in. So if you're repeating something, um, you'll have those that history to uh, make it quicker. And uh, so to, to view the last 10 commands, if you want to see what you've done, you can just type in show history and it will uh, show what you've done. The last, we've got five on there, but it'll show up to 10. So, um, two of the, some commands will not work in the privileged mode that will work in user exec mode. <coughs> Um, and you can get back and forth by doing enable and disable. Um, so, you know, configure terminal. You cannot do in the user exec mode. You have to enable uh, to be able to configure the terminal. And, uh, of course, that uh, if you ever get that uh, CR with the arrows around it, that means that the list um, is ended. So that's just a little bit of what you can do with the CLI um, in Packet Tracer and on the routers themselves. Um, it's a pretty uh, useful and helpful tool with the help options and the recalling commands. Um, so, you know, it's doing more than you think it's doing, and it's uh, really fun and easy to work with. Uh, thank you very much.